You see this scene played out a thousand times over all around the Carolinas. Kids heading off to camp. Parents getting in one last hug and kiss. Boys polishing their pickup lines. You, you told me a joke a little bit ago. Chicks dig you. <laughs> no, no, chicks dig you. It's Hello, everybody! Camp leader Carrie Cuden welcomes everyone and then walks around reassuring folks. Hello, how are you? It's tough sometimes for parents to send a child off to camp. Imagine how helpless you might feel if the little boy or girl you're sending off has cancer. This camp on Lake Lure in the North Carolina mountains is about two hours from Charlotte. But for these kids, it's a whole world away. I think it's just that we're all connected so closely because in somehow in our life we're all been touched by either we've had cancer or we know somebody who's had cancer. 18-year-old Mary Cole was diagnosed with cancer and lost her hair to chemo at age 15. That couldn't have been easy. No. She says Camp Care is the only place where these kids feel like they fit in. And you're not looked at funny here because, you know, sometimes in public you will be looked at different because you might not have hair or... You might look sick, and here you're just all one. Is my grandma watching on Your grandmother TV? will be watching. If you've never tried to interview six- and seven-year-olds, this is how it goes. No, just get him. You had a wedgie yet? Good never. For you. My brother right. gave me a wedgie once. I'm not going to say yes, even if y'all say. So did you. you don't want to do this? I'm trying to hide them together. No, I can't food rules. <laughs> Abraham, who didn't want to talk to me, is here for his first camp care. Pearson, in the light blue shirt who likes camp food and gets wedgies, he's here for the second time. And your second camp? My third camp. Your third? And since we're on TV, I figured they might like to give something kids call up shout. Do you want to give a shout out to your homeboys? But they hemmed and hawed and looked at one another, waved to their moms, and then finally... Seven-year-old Trent Keatley spoke up. Can I say hello to Bon Jovi? <laughs> yes, that would be a shout-out from a seven-year-old with cancer to the rock star, John Bon Jovi. Hi, Bon Jovi! <laughs> I noticed that your fun meter is, like, way over in the max. Mm -hmm. What does that say about you? Means I'm really fun. <laughs> <laughs> Alexandra Shaney is seven years old. What would you like to do to become famous? Sing. Sing? The dreams of a normal child trapped in a body fighting for its life. Tell me what kind of cancer you have. Neuroblastoma. Can you pronounce it? Neuroblastoma. 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 Mm -hmm. Neuroblastoma. I think so. <laughs> I think that's how it's about. Well. Each of these kids know more about sickness and disease than perhaps anyone should. And that may be why they force themselves to focus on anything else. I don't really listen to that stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Care is it, the one perfect place, the mountaintop of mental and emotional escape from their very real and very stressed out young lives. Ready? <laughs> For Trent, our young Bon Jovi fan, the escape from his real life ends early. Camp nurses have discovered his blood count is low. Trent has to go straight home and back to the hospital. Oh, look at you. 19.9 kilos. They're going to take my weight and height. Then they're going to take me in this room. They're going to take my blood pressure and my temperature. Then they're going to put a needle in my port. Three, you're all done. Then they're going to do chemo. This is the everyday reality of a kid with cancer. One day, you're, you know, you're dropping your son off and he's laughing and he's going to school like all the other kids. And the next day, your son's now having an eight-hour brain surgery. Trent's mom, Paulette, will never forget the first day cancer threw their lives off the track. We both just instantly pretty much collapsed mentally. I mean, you're basically poisoning your child. 
to try to save his life. Right. Trent's dad, Bill Keatley, says the cancer and the chemo has changed his outgoing, wisecracking son in ways they never saw coming. I mean, he's beautiful to me no matter what. I just miss his personality. This is what happens when the weight of the world falls on a family. The hardest part of all of this was the day that we found out and he came in and saw my husband and I crying and said, am I going to die? I would now like to invite our respective staff and families. Back up the mountain at a memorial garden at the top of the hill. We're going to plant the flowers in honor of them. Carrie Cuton brings Camp Care to a standstill. It's time for everyone here to take a look inside and then to let out the emotions that keep bottled up back home. Campers and counselors together plant flowers and write love notes to those who did not make it to camp this year. We love you and uh, you will always be my role model. There isn't anyone here who has not been touched by death. I thank God every day that I'm here and that um, I can be a part of this family. 14-year-old Sarah has survived cancer twice. Brittany is a really nice spiritual girl I met. Her friend Brittany Boone did not. Brittany was a talker. But don't let their tears and their sadness fool you. When I was first asked to talk about Jenna, I really didn't know where to start. These are the toughest kids you will ever meet. The endless hospital visits, the powerful chemo treatments, the baldness, the being the odd kid at school, the physical frailty, the depression, facing death every day firsthand, and watching dear friends passing on year after year. No, these kids are tough as nails. Mwah, you were so great this year. It's been an extraordinary week for this group. I miss you. Yeah, All right. The highs were a blast, and the lows, well, they're just part of life with cancer. I miss out, <laughs> That's why these are not the goodbye hugs of a regular summer camp. No, camp care hugs come with a deeper sense of this life and the next. This is our toughest day. We love these kids. We just want them back with us next year. Every one of them. That is what matters at Camp Care.